Okay, we've got Rob Lear here at Cool 101.7, and you are the lucky man that gets to bring away, bring around the NCHC Cup. <laughs> it is a uh, inevitable task here. The, uh, uh, this trophy is emblematic of the conference championship mm-hmm. of the National Collegiate Hockey Conference, and it's the uh, ultimate prize that the Duluth Bulldogs are playing for this March. Which I think they're going to get. I think this is a better, better year than the past couple. Well, they've certainly, uh, Scott Sandel and the coach has done a great job of trying to find the balance, the lines, and the goaltending, and he continues to fine-tune his team, and the stretch drive is just now beginning, and so this is really when you find out, um, as you head down the stretch of any season, of, you know, who is built for the championship. And, and the Bulldogs, the Bulldogs are, are hot. <laughs> they're certainly, they're right there. They're yes. right where they need to be, and uh, uh, hopefully they can survive the uh, uh, the first round of the playoffs, and to those that do, the final four, the final four survivors, they advance down to Target Center March 2021, and that is the uh, postseason tournament for this conference, and the winner punches a ticket to the uh, uh, NCAA tournament, and that, of course, is the ultimate goal to uh, get back with a chance to win the national championship. Now, uh, people can buy these tickets no matter how the Bulldogs do. People can get tickets to this uh, championship. Correct. The, How do they do that? Well, they go to uh, targetcenter.com, mm-hmm. uh, where is the venue in downtown Minneapolis. And uh, there are links uh, also on the Duluth Bulldogs website, um, the nchc.com website. There are lots of different resources to go to to check out how to uh, be a part of March Madness in Minneapolis. And uh, every March, this is where the, uh, the best of the NCHC's hockey teams come together to play off uh, with a chance to go on to the NCAA. Now, explain a little bit about this cup. Um, it, it has some uh, interesting details that you were going over. Well, you know, like most, anytime you think of a trophy like the Stanley Cup, it's mm-hmm. the history of that trophy that, you know, everybody uh, resonates with. Right. What's cool here about the origins of this NCHC, only in its second season, is that this league had a chance to mint its own history, to begin to write its own chapter. And uh, this trophy stands two feet tall. Uh It weighs a little more than 25 pounds. It's a big trophy. And it it almost blinds you with the reflection off that shiny silver. Yeah. um, As you uh, have witnessed here for yourself. And, um, you know, I I tell people that it's about the equivalent in size and weight of a keg of root beer. (laughs) Or if you're in Duluth, perhaps there's another... A keg of, of beer. You can, you, you can go ahead and say it. <laughs> and it but that's kind of the, the, you know, the the size and the proportion of this trophy. Mm-hmm. And like any great championship trophy, there will be some great uh, images and memories when this uh, trophy is hoisted high over the players' heads. Mm-hmm. And that's why it's in such grand style, because the great team photos that uh, over the years that will be uh, memorialized with their championship and through the images of digital photography, you want a trophy that also can stand it's out impressive. in that very joyous moment and occasion. I like the fact that there's hockey sticks on the side. It looks, at first, I thought it was just handles, and as I looked closely, I was like, those are hockey sticks. We had to give the the, the recipients of this crown a little bit of a personality, mm-hmm. and uh, this certainly, in the, uh, in the eyes of the designer, was one of the uh, features of this trophy, is the handles which are uh, of course they they're they're hockey sticks and you'll also note that there are eight definitive sides to both the um, the base of the championship trophy uh-huh. and also in the cup in its design and that that each side represents one of the conference schools one of the eight conference schools in this uh, NCHC very cool idea well thanks yeah and and the, and the beauty is now that not only is it a, a trophy that uh, we hope fans will come out this weekend mm-hmm. to have a chance to uh, uh, see for themselves so they get an idea of what this is all about, but also to uh, take a selfie, uh, take a picture, <laughs> try to see if you can get your reflection off uh, this glimmering silver uh, piece of hardware, but also then to go onto the NCHC's website and submit your photo, and there'll be a lot of swag and apparel that will be given away to hockey fans who captured that gleeful moment in its uh, most ultimate uh, moment. 
Uh, you had talked about uh, people being able to take a picture this weekend. You're talking about the uh, Bulldog hockey game down at the Amsoil Arena. Correct. So, starting at 6 o'clock in mm-hmm. the concourse both nights, fans that are going to the game will have a chance to uh, uh, go by a cool display that's going to be set up at the rink, and they will have access. And as you have found out here today, yes, you'll have access to look. You can't touch because one of the uh, – one of the nuances of this great prize is that it's not to be touched by human hands. And that's why uh, as we make the escort around to all the NCHC conference schools, we bring our white gloves uh, so that anybody who can't resist, they must touch, they must hold it, they can only do so if they wear the white gloves. Which is kind of like the Stanley Cup. Very much so. Very yeah. much so. And then the Stanley Cup has survived the 100-plus uh, years of its history and we're hoping that uh, we can build on that history with this young trophy. This uh, is kind of intimidating. It's it's sitting just off to the left of me here, and it's kind of intimidating. I can see it out of the left side <laughs> as I'm interviewing you, and I'm just I'm constantly looking over at it. I don't know if you caught that. Well, but it, it's uh, you know I think the size is is part of the charm is that it it makes a grand statement, mm-hmm. and to the victors of this championship. It is uh, emblematic of a lot of hard work, and you wouldn't want a trophy that didn't stand in the same tall, proud stature that this does. It's very cool, and I really thank you for uh, running it by the studio today and talking about it with me. Well, you're welcome, Chris, and we appreciate that uh, anything that's Duluth, you want to know what's going on, and we hope that uh, the hockey fans out there or any fans out there will get a chance to, uh, while it's visiting here this weekend, Let's hope they can root on the Bulldogs and bring this trophy back in March to be a permanent piece of the trophy uh, cases here at UMD. There we go. That, uh, of course, I think is going to happen. I'm going to make that prediction right now. (laughs) There you go. (laughs) Well, thank you again. Okay, Chris. Thanks for having us.